Hello everyone, welcome back to Shocode, and in this video we're going to be finishing up our Pi game project. In the last video, we added in the attacks to our game, so if we run it, we can see we can uh, now attack and kill the enemies. Uh, but in this video, I just want to clean up the code a bit, and there's also a bug that you might have noticed if you've been playing around with the game. Uh, when you run into the wall, the camera just keeps on moving and then it can eventually disappear. And you know, the character just disappears, which needs to be fixed. So let's get right into it. So first of all, I want to fix this, uh, the camera bug. We want the camera to stay on the player at all times. Uh, so to do this, we're going to want to come into the collide blocks method. When we collide with the blocks, we're setting the player to stand still. We're still moving all the other sprites in the other direction, so the camera will eventually move off of the player. So to fix this, we just need to do for sprite in self.game.all sprites. So we're just going to loop through all the sprites and move them in the opposite direction so that the player stays focused in the camera. Sprite.rect.x plus equals player speed. It just counters the movement of the camera basically so that they'll stay still when we're colliding with a wall. Uh, and then we can just do the same thing down here. So if we if we copy this and paste it in, we'll need to set it to minus equals player speed because we're going the other direction. And we'll also need to do it in the y direction. So for sprite in self.game.all sprites, self.rect.y plus equals player underscore speed. And then we can just copy and paste this. And we'll change this to minus equals player speed. Sorry, here where it's self.rec.y, that should actually be sprites.rec.y. Uh, yeah, my bad. Anyway, if we run it now, and we hit play, we should be able to walk into the walls and the camera stays still, and it doesn't run off of the screen. So that's that bug fixed. Another thing that I want to fix is um, when we have our animations here, every time we call the animate function, we're having to create these lists over and over again, uh, and that's really inefficient. So we're having to call this get sprite method 12 times every time the animate function is called, which is really inefficient. So what we want to do is we want to move this out of the animate function. So if we just uh, cut it, control X, and we come up to the init method, and we paste it just in the bottom here, and we make these self.down animations. So if we add self to the start of all these, and by adding self, we're turning it into a uh, we're turning it into an attribute that, that that can be used in any method of the class, and that basically means we're only going to be creating these lists once when the init method is called. So it's a lot more efficient, basically. And um, we just need to come into the uh, animate method and change these to self dot down animations. Uh, self, we just need to add self to the start of all these. There we go. Uh, we'll also want to do the same for the enemy, so just cut and paste the uh, left and right animations into the bottom of the init method. Okay, and change these to self and self. And then in the animate method, we'll just change this to self.left animations and self.right animations. There we go. Uh, and one more, we need to we need to change the attack animation as well. So cut and paste all of this, and then paste it into the bottom, and just tab this correctly. Okay, and we need to change this to self.right animations, just add self to all the start of these, uh, like this. And then change add self to the start of all these as well. Okay, so if we run it now, we should get the exact same results as before, except that there isn't as much slowdown in the code. It's a lot more efficient code, pretty much. We've pretty much finished our game now, so if you have any questions or comments about, about Pygame or anything that we covered in this video, just leave a comment, I will get back to you. If you found these tutorials useful, please leave a like and subscribe, because uh, it really helps me out. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.